my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you my list of best toys for toddlers. Now that Zachary is two, I've been watching him play with certain toys and I figured, hey, why not make a list of them and share it with, uh, with you guys. I actually wrote a post about it on my blog. If you're interested, go check it out. Um, but either way, it's the same thing I'm gonna say to you guys right now. Some of these toys have been gifts and others we have purchased. Just wanted to throw that out there and I will be linking them all down in the description box so if you guys are interested go check them out so the first toy that i want to talk about is the little ticks a little ticks basketball set this toy is hands down the best for my boys they love it i have it in the living room so that they can just play all day long one good thing about this basketball set is that it comes with the balls i believe it's two and you're able to adjust it so if you have a little one that is obviously really small, you just lower it to the lowest setting. And if once they start getting a little older, then you start moving it. It's been awesome. I say get it, especially if your boys are very active or if your little girl is very active. And also it comes in two colors. So if you have a little girl, um, hey, why not get her a basketball set? She's gonna love it. My second toy is going to be good old play-doh i know not everybody likes it it's kind of messy and it does dry out and when it does dry out it makes a lot of mess and pretty much your money is down the drain but the kids love it and i bought this whole set from kohl's i'm gonna show it right now so i bought this play-doh canister um from kohl's during the whole pandemic i figured why not keep them entertained with some play-doh and they love it i have this under their activity table just so that they can play with it at any time it's pretty big and they're able to store whatever they want i actually keep only their play-doh in here but lately they've been sticking everything else in there <laughs> but the good thing i like about this one is that it came with a lot of them so you get 45 pieces guys um yeah it's 24.99 i think that's it was on sale yeah i think that's what i paid um so pretty much this is everything you get i think this one is worth it i really really like how it has a lot of things for them so cute like you know what i mean and seeing them play together i love it i really do i love seeing my boys have fun together and this is another play-doh that's in here it's soft because that'd be on top of them. And the rest of the Play-Dohs, I actually stored them inside of um, Alex's bedroom closet. Honestly, I still have a lot of Play-Doh left, so I think it's gonna be okay. So definitely get Play-Doh. I think every kid loves it and should get it. The next toy that I like is the Caterpillar Tunnel by Melissa and Doug. This tunnel has been with us for a while because it was actually Alex's and I ordered it through the Pampers, uh, was it Huggies points program where you put in your code after you purchase your diapers and after you accumulate a certain amount, you're able to pick a, uh, a gift. It's easy to fold if they have a sibling, um, they can play together or even I, I actually gotten inside of there a couple of times to play with the boys. So, I mean, you can kind of squeeze yourself in there if you can, but um, either way, it's a pretty nice toy. The next one is a character house, which is, it could be a Batman house, it could be a Mickey Mouse house, it could be a princess house, just a house in general, I think is very important where they're able to use the imagination and create stories. For instance, we have the Mickey Mouse one for Zachary. It came with its own little toys that are inside of a car actually. So it makes noise and he's able to slide it down. One we use is from VTech. So it looks something like this and um this is a sliding but you see how it has this part right here it connects to another piece so it, it becomes really big like huge so i mean you're gonna have to need a little space for that but if your child has like a batman house um those are nice or a disney princess house that's also nice um, it does not have to be big like i said it could be something simple just like this um and they're gonna have a blast with it another toy that i think it's a must is a kitchen i remember alex asking for a McDonald's kitchen. When he went to pre-K, um, his teacher had one. I went everywhere looking for this McDonald's kitchen and it was just really hard. So Santa pretty much came and gave him a blue kitchen instead. <laughs> it's by the brand Little Tights and I think it's great. You're, it's lightweight. 
um, I have it literally right next to our TV set just because I enjoy watching my kids play. So I like to have everything kind of like in the living room. Um, I don't, I like that way I can kind of watch them. They have their rest of their toys inside of um, Alex's bedroom. The good thing is that the doors actually open. So like the microwave opens, the bottom door opens, he's able to turn the knob. I'm actually looking at it as I speak. It comes with utensils, the pots, the pans. It does not come with a lot of food. I think you only get like a hot dog and like some, like a hamburger, I think. I'm not sure. But either way, you definitely need to buy food. I've seen really cheap ones on Amazon where you get a whole bunch of food for really cheap. Like I think it's like $20 and you get like a lot of it. So definitely look at that. And if you want to make it fun, get them a cash register while you add it. You know, that way they can actually like ring up the food for you. I think it's really good because they're able to do like role play. They can become their mom or it can be dad and cooking eggs. It can be their own little chefs, you know, and it's really nice. And I think it's just great. So definitely check out a kitchen. Um, I really like this one because it was blue and white. It kind of blends into my walls. <laughs> since I already knew it was gonna be in the living room. But they actually have other colors, like if you want pink or if you want brown, they have many different kitchens. This one is more plasticky. I've seen wooden ones. When they're a little pricier, I think. I've seen pretty cool ones. So yeah, definitely a kitchen, a kitchen, a kitchen. Another one is blocks. I think blocks are a must. They're able to hold things and figure out how to connect them, you know, put them, stack them, put them on top of each other. I think it's good for like hand movements and eye coordination. And the one that we have is the Mega Blocks First Builders by Fisher Price. It's very colorful. Another thing that it's so important that you're gonna want is a storage, a storage bag. I cannot stress how important that is just because when the kids are done, you see blocks everywhere. So make sure that whichever blocks you do decide to buy, make sure they have a storage bag because this is going to come in handy. Also, it comes in two different colors. So if you have a little girl, they actually have the pink bag. This is another cool toy that we bought for Zachary. And I like how it's so simple seriously guys you can lay it down you can put it away you can put it under something or have it stand up the good thing is that you can put all these blocks away inside so pretty much you unlock it and underneath is a storage um little bin but you're able to put all the blocks in there make sure you start from the bottom like that and then you put it down make sure you lock this so that it doesn't lift up so yeah, it's, it's pretty cool and I like how it has legs. So whenever you want to have the table stand, you can do so. So yeah, like it. Also guys, if you have these blocks, they actually work here too. So you can put them in here. Just got to make sure that it, it clicks. That way it doesn't move anywhere. Guys, I almost forgot how important this little tyke ride on push and ride racer is this is amazing zachary loves this toy i bought it for him for christmas the best part guys is that it actually rolls look at that so it rolls all the kids can actually push it um i remember zachary learning how to walk and he wouldn't he, you could use it this way this is a walker that way but i feel like it goes a little too fast for them so what he would do is he would put both his hands um one hand here and the other hand on the red handle and he would just push it like this and honestly it helped him and he learned how to walk it's a toy that toddlers can use for a while especially if you give it to them when they're really young zachary is two almost two and a half and he still uses this race car every day while they're sitting here they can actually store um a couple of toys in here or a teddy bear and they ride it with them you guys are not gonna regret it this is amazing i love this little car get it if you can next one is tricycle guys i think a good old tricycle is also a must actually they're gonna learn how to ride a bike so it's really nice to get them started in that um, the one I do like is the Radio Flyer Classic Tricycle. That's the one I had with Alex and it came with the bell and it's really cute. So now Zachary's using that one to learn how to ride a bike. However, it is kind of wide at the bottom. So I do suggest having um, 
either having it outside better for outdoors but if you're looking for something indoors i think the radio flyer ready to ride folding trike that one is really good i don't have that one if you have a one and a half year old you can actually buy that one for them because it's pretty small and it folds something that i'm like oh, maybe i should have gotten that one <laughs> but he's doing pretty well with the one that alex has right now so i'm just stay with that one you can also check out the radio flyer rider trike for ages two and a half to five this one comes with a little storage bucket at the end and it's a little bigger than the two in one folding trike and moving on to puzzles guys melissa and doug does wonderful puzzles like they're they're really good this is the ones that we're currently using right now we have way more puzzles but these are the ones that zachary is into um the fact that they're like they're chunkier these as well as this the triangle the circles he loves these you're able to teach them like how or there you can make sound effects like Moo, you know so it's pretty nice um and they're all like this another one that i do think that once they get a little older um or you can start now of course it's never too early it's the learning journey my first four in box in a box puzzle and pretty much you get like four sets and each one comes with two four six or eight puzzles this is one example another good thing i do like is the fact that you're able to know how many pieces it requires um so they would easily know oh i need two so if they already have one they just need the second one to just connect it so these are really nice i think i did a video back ooh, like three four years ago um about this and i'm gonna link it down below if you're interested in watching it it's pretty old but I think it's very informative and you'll see Alex um, doing the puzzles himself. Another toy is the, um, the large drawing mat. So Zachary for Christmas received this from my sister and she got him this big drawing mat. The best thing about this drawing mat is that it does not require paint at all, guys. So it comes with this little drawing pen where you unscrew it and fill it with water. And with that pen, they get to draw here. And it's so easy to clean up because once it dries out, because it's only water, eventually the drawing will dry up and it will completely be gone. So once it's gone, you just once again fold it comes with a little bag for easy storage and it's pretty pretty awesome see folds you need to fold it like easily i also wanted to add how i love this magic board i'm able to you know teach the letters to zachary i can um i can write on it and when i'm done i just swipe this little bar across and it erases and you can start all over again when you're done you just put the pen right here i like how it's attached to the board that way the kids can't lose it you can take it with you i got this one at um lakeshore educational wise i think a toy laptop is a must um, this is the one we currently have. The one that's out right now, this is an older version, but the one that they have right now that I've seen is called the Leapfrog 2-in-1 Leap Top Touch. And I'm going to link it down below. Apparently, this part becomes like a tablet. That's, pre that's pretty cool. I'm going to just turn it on for you guys. Hi. This is it. Push a letter button. A says it comes with a little handle so the kids can actually hold it and um, take it with them. I keep this one in the car, but because of everything going on, we've been having it up here. Another thing that I do say that it's worth it is getting the Scout. Yeah, I think his grandma got it for him. If you already have this one, then they're going to be very familiar with this once they see the, the mascot is here as well. <sighs> can you think of something red? One, two, 
if you're thinking of purchasing this, maybe throw in the little scalp while you're there. Um, I, Zachary received this when he was a baby and he loves it. Just the fact that it plays music, it sings to him and it talks to him. He loves it. You can actually custom make this to say your child's name. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And if you know any parents out there that are looking for um, toy ideas, please share this video with them. If you did find this useful, uh, please give it a thumbs up. That would mean so much to me. And until next time, bye guys and stay safe. Oh, oh no.